Welcome to another episode of Smothered in Spices. I'm your host, the Bill Barouette, and today we're making baked chicken wings with the Creole Kick. So here's our list of ingredients, y'all. We have 16 chicken wings, and I left this one unseasoned. These have already been seasoned, you know, just for um, the purpose of the video. I'll be working with this. Then we have two uh, limes here. They've been sliced, and we also have some vinegar and some vegetable oil, okay? And then you have your five seasonings. So all together, there's nine ingredients in here. Um, you have your Larry's, your Badia Complete Seasoning, your Tony Chatcher's Original Creole Seasoning, your Badia Onion Powder, and some McCormick's Black Pepper. Now, if you guys use different brands, that's fine, but these are just some of the ones that I pledge allegiance to. All right, y'all, so here's a list of the steps for the preparation part. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees, then we're going to slice the slits into each of the wings, okay? And let me do a demonstration of that. What I do is I grab the wing by this little pointy end piece right here, and then I cut into the belly and just go straight down. And then I also do a slit into that drumstick part, okay? Then you just place your wings in a bowl, add one cup of vinegar and one cup of water, then you let it soak for 10 minutes. All right, then you're going to rinse your wings off with some cool water and dump out the vinegar water. Okay, then you're going to cut both, both of your limes, all right, and you're going to place your wings on an oil bake pan with, um, with this side up. This side right here is going to be facing up, okay? And then you take all of your, um, all of your pieces of limes and you wipe each wing. Then use a paper towel to pat dry the wings so the, sp the spices don't uh, clump up on you, okay? Then you just mix your spices in all four of these bowls. Now I'm going to show you how I, um, how I tilt you know, each spice to get the exact amount that I want. And then you you'll repeat this step for the other three bowls, okay? So we're going to start with our body and it's going to be four shakes of each spice. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, okay? Then we'll get our Larry's. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four. And I say light shakes for the Badia and the Larry's just because there's some salt in there. Okay, um, then we add our Tony Chachers. One, two, three, four. Okay, then the Badia onion powder. And lastly, we have the black pepper. All right, then you're going to mix those spices that you just put in your bowl, okay? And before you start rubbing on your spices, remember you have to go ahead and wipe each piece of uh, chicken with your slice of lime there, okay? And I put a little cut, a little slice on each lime uh, piece so it's easier to kind of rub on to the chicken, okay? And then you want to pat that dry so your spices don't clump up, okay? All right, we're gonna start with this belly side. Okay, so what you do is just sprinkle on some of that seasoning with your teaspoon, like so. Okay, and then you're gonna take your two index fingers and just rub that in. And I like to poke a little seasoning into that middle slit right there. That's the reason why we put that in here. So the inside can have some, some yum to it. Okay. Rub it all around. Okay. Then you're going to flip it over. And mind you, you would be doing this on your bake pan, but I've already done those over there. So then you season it, sprinkle it on. Okay. And then rub it in. Add that to the bake pan. All right, and then the very last step before we put this in the oven is to sprinkle on four capfuls of oil. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the last thing we have to do is put this chicken in the oven. Okay, 
and we're gonna bake that for one hour. Y'all, it looks like it's ready and it smells so delicious in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this plated so you can get a close up of all this yum yum right here. Okay, yes, yes. All right, let's see if you can see it there. So those are the finished wings, okay? Nice and golden brown. All righty. All right, so this is my favorite piece right here. This is what I'm gonna go ahead and taste right there, that, that flat, yum part right there in the middle. That's what I like, okay? Go ahead. Ooh. Get that off. Okay, here we go. Whew. All right. And y'all know y'all can try this with some ranch dressing. That's how I like to try mine. So try that at home. Tell me what you think. Okay, here we go. spilling all over but it's good okay mm. Woo. Woo. that's delicious okay y'all this is so good that I had to spell it out for y'all okay so let me show you this bam and now what does that say read it to me that says yum because this right here was so delicious it was yum okay so I'm about to go ahead and just dig in and I want to, before I leave, I just want to say thank you for coming and watching this video. If you have Facebook, Twitter, go ahead and share this with all your friends. Let them know about this recipe that's just sitting here waiting. And also stay tuned for the last clip. It'll be a type copy of the recipe. And y'all just thank you for coming. Bye-bye.